Okay, so let's get started. Let me just get the last code for today. We'll do up through day 21 today. So that's eight days to do now. Okay. Controller. There you are. I would have started probably a little bit sooner, but um, the great people over at the uh, Open League um, were kind enough to, uh, a restreamer had volunteered to do uh, a, a vodcast of Saturday's race. So um, they restreamed my race from Saturday, um, both mine and Nobly's run, um, which was really cool. Um, so we, uh, I got to watch it and then I did a quick interview with it. So, um, fun time. Okay. So to anybody who's missed this, this is the festive door or the calendar. It's an advent calendar. Um, so it's a door rando. Um, each day is just a mini dungeon, not a full like seed. So each day is probably about 10 to 20 minutes. Um, the goal is to get all the items. So all the chests you have to open up, you have to beat the boss, and you have to read the special hint tile in all in the dungeon. Uh, once you get all three pendants, you go to the pedestal. Uh, when you do that, you get the book off the pedestal, and then you use the pedestal on the text in, or you use the book on the pedestal in, or on the text in front of the pedestal, and that fills in an image a uh, little holiday image uh, that you've got. So I've got 13 pieces so far of the image. Um, and then, so there's 25 days. Right now we're up to 21 because it's obviously the 21st of December. Um, and this is Door Rando, which is a little weird. Um, we haven't done a lot of Door Rando yet. So this has kind of been my intro to it. Thanks, game. Rip Ronies. Okay. Well, hopefully we're good. So let's get started. We're on day 14, um, Thieves Town number two. So every day has been a different dungeon, kind of, except for, at, I think, the last couple of days of, yes, of last time, we started to hit the overlap. So, but this is a second Thieves Town dungeon. And hello to Scruff. All that to say hello. What is my free item? The hook shot! I can pick up a Christmas tree. And I think my favorite part is the fact that they did add the menorah for the start of Hanukkah, and each day they actually add a candle. That's really cool. The little attentions to detail are very nice. Oh, and this is, um... The other thing is, is that this was developed by the uh, Germans, um, this festive rando. Uh, the German ALTTPR community is the, is the uh, group behind this one. Be festive, Scruff. It's the week of Christmas.
Wait, they locked that door behind the big key? Is this the hint towel for this one? Yes, it is. Okay, day 14. The excursion gathered at the mouth of the cave. The slopes of Death Mountain lay ahead. None of these men wanted to stay longer than necessary, so they went straight to work. The gap between rock falls was brief, but it was enough to stretch large nets along the slope. In the meantime, Impa had arrived at Harris Tower on the summit. She looked down to see the dead rocks filling up the prepared nets. As if on cue, Impa's WR-301 began clicking and beeping. Oh, where is the green gnome? Maybe it slipped off during the climb. She did not answer. Dear Impa, how may we serve you? Bring the rocks back to Hyrule Castle, she responded. Our chefs may lack the skill or desire to cook rock, but who are we to deny our Goron friends the perfect feast? Very well, very well, my dear Impa. Without another word, they took the nets from their holders and set off. Hey, Ima. Well, I don't got a big key. So yes, as I said, I would have started a little sooner, but um, unfortunately, you know, I had to... Ah, leave me alone. <clears throat> I was uh, giving an interview for the uh, race from Saturday. I'd say I apologize, but it's the music that's in it. So. Sorry.
Um, I can't complain yet, I guess. I mean, dang it. Yeah, we're still a little early, but... Um... So, Jaws is racing tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. You know what, let's see. Uh, so Jaws can close out the series tomorrow. If not, I will be racing Wednesday at, uh, oh, um, 3 p.m. Yeah. Definitely not, I'm a- come on. a little sick. She's a little purple in the face. Yeah, so Jaws is racing tomorrow morning, so if you want to watch uh, our team try to clinch a spot in the uh, conference semifinals, uh, feel free to stop by. Ah! Gingerbread man with weird eyebrows. I'll say this day was pretty easy. So yeah, Jaws is tomorrow morning. Um, he'll be facing off against Hayfield Bay. Um, Hayfield's quite a good runner, so not gonna be a very uh, easy match, but gonna root him on and hope for the best. Um, and then, um, Wednesday is the plan for Obscure Lifeform and I to have a rematch of week six of the regular season. Um, and that'll be three o'clock my time Wednesday if necessary. So, should be a fun one. Right now, uh, the settings. Look at this picture! It's looking so cute! Um, the settings that we do know for now are uh, basic enemy shuffle, randomized swords, and all dungeons. So it is quite the... It's going to be an interesting one.
if we play it. I mean, it was, it was, it's not like a big deal either way. It was, you know, Jaws is getting the, the uh, game four matchup. Um, so Jaws gets to pick two settings for game four. Um, so I'm adaptable. So like knowing game five is weird modes doesn't bother me. Okay. Day 15, Eastern Palace 2. Another day with the hook shot. I don't think these doors are anything different. No, yesterday we played uh, Sayonara Wild Hearts and Gems of War. We start with the boots in these scruffs, sorry. There's like a universal basic set of equipment that they give you for these uh, holiday seeds for these door randos. Boy, my computer's temperamental today. <laughs> or my emulator's temperamental today. survive, Dan. Don't worry. Please, game. Yeah, Garrison, your game four. Well, that's not the option. I don't know if I would prefer to be four or five, to be honest. I mean, I'm five and Jaws is four. Because part of me looks at it and I'm just like... That is gross. We're going to make this into a meme fight.
I apologize for nothing. Oh my god, I didn't realize how bad it was to use Blue Boomerang. I apologize. We might switch off of this. We'll kill at least one. Got one! <laughs> okay, let's make this easy. Yeah, I realized how terrible of an idea that was. It seemed like it wasn't terrible, and then it just was the worst idea imaginable. <laughs> I kind of forgot how slow bo Blue Boomerang is on um, the Armos Knights. This is the way I went to get to the boss. Yeah. But yeah, don't worry. We'll uh, do. I will finish 12 days. I'm not getting eliminated. I'm not getting dropped from the club. Yeah, no, I don't think a lot of people would know that. But part of this game is kind of learning some of the silly things, just in case. Day 15! Link lined up his weapons on the table, all of them marked by battles of the past few days. His uncle put on a cup of... Why do you hate me, computer, so much? Twit! The pot whistled just as Link finished with his sword. He went up to the pout of... So he went up to pour the tea into cups. If you take a bottle, we can test that gift from St. Nicholas, his uncle said, looking at... Link in anticipation. This weather is perfect for reek fish. At the thought of a freshly grilled smelt trout, Link's tiredness faded. And what? 
And what would Hayes Trout be without pumpkin and goat cheese? Ling didn't know what to say. His uncle had indeed provided everything for a luxurious soup. He quickly reached for the bottles and poured tea into them. I hope we catch a big one today. I can't wait to bring it back and eat soup. Just the thought of this warm evening filled Link's nose with a nostalgia of good smells. There. And yes, you're right, Olkesh, it needs Christmas spirit. So you had to kill Armos to get the bow to get to this bow lock side of Eastern Palace Door Rando. I love Door Rando. This is fun. Yeah, Dan, I think the worry is I'll actually get knocked out of... Um, If anything, I'll get knocked out of derp, derp, derp. Um, G task this week. Okay, so what's up here, if anything? Oh wait, I can hook shot. By the way, the little statues are are, are snowmen. There, we killed the snowmen. Aren't you still in G-Task? <laughs> to anybody who wasn't here yesterday, we completed a YOLO run of Sayonara Wild Hearts. And I got the message that I was queen of everything. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it was interesting. I, right? It's weird, you know, getting that, finding that out. Okay, book, read. I know, right? I, I, I feel so loved. Hey, Paul. <laughs> Day 16. L-S-E-A. Tower of Hera Day 2. Or version 2. Give me the Zahama.
I was thinking maybe if I just fast forward through this moment, it like save it, but nope. Curious what'll happen if I hair a pot. Oh wait, they didn't give me hook shot. Jerks. Necessarily, Garrus. Did you do the fall rando? Did you do the fall festive? Because in the fall festive, they actually trolled. So I, I wonder if they did a troll there. True. Could have been collusion. I had to think about that hint for a second. This dungeon's a little weird. Yeah, that was going to be what the other check I was going to do, Garrison. But I thought there was a better chance that they had left the portals, because the portals so far in the door rando have been vanilla. So I figured instead what they did was 
um, shuffled that the fall onto that floor was the right way to go. I mean, I could have, but it just didn't seem like it was the right move. That's a circle for me. Day 16. The door closed behind Link. He was trapped. Out of pure reflex, he dodged an attack, but it was a sleepy, do sloppy dodge at that. That, wait, that thrust him to the floor. Not a second too soon, Link raised his shield, blocking an impact that knocked it from his arm. The strap broke, flinging his shield sideways where it crashed into and shattered a pot against the wall. A second attack followed, throwing Link towards another wall. He reached for his sword. His determined grip held the sword in front of him, and boldly predicting the, his opponent's next move, Link rushed forward. The strategy paid off, and Link was victorious. Done with the fighting, Link reached for his shield and a small heart from the pottery it destroyed. He continued checking and emptying the adjacent pots. Link left one pot intact, in which he placed the apple he always has for Epona. Strengthened by the small gifts, he went back to work. When you do the days back to back, it almost seems plausible. Okay, so they did leave it vanilla. Why you needed the flippers and the hammer. Okay, so where did this lead then? Oh, it's not a bombable wall, it's a key door. I mean, we've got all the pendants, so I don't really have to do these checks. <laughs> it's a circle! It's a circle, man! <laughs> the got me running a rat race in a circle! It never ends, dude, it never ends!
Okay, so they just swapped those two. That's three days in about 40 minutes, so not too bad a pace. And another picture! Whee! I wonder what it is. There's the hint tile. I just need the hammer for it. I'll give credit to them for thinking about doing that little basic change to the dungeon to make sure you can't just like clearly That's very bleak. this door first. That's very interesting. I don't know how to respond to that, Ima. I really don't. Well, 
Well, there's that hammer I need. Yeah, I don't think that's helping. <laughs> See, I don't think it's the computer because the computer's like not showing any issues. Whereas, so I think it's the emulator, but I don't know why. I mean, honestly, like, if there was a reason for me to ever consider getting real hardware and actually making the investment for hardware, it's that. Like, the fact that I have so many issues with this. Like, there's part of me that feels like I should get hardware. Day 17. Master, I pray that I'm not disturbing you. When Girahim started like this, there was always a but. Have you decided how you would like to peer at the ball? We walk. <laughs> Dragmire's stern voice set the mood. Sir, what I mean is, how you will be dressed. What business is that of yours? Well, just look at yourself in the mirror. Don't you think it should be a more noble garment for the occasion? After a brief hesitation, he had to agree. The problem was, he had no idea of the current fashion in Hyrule. But Girahim interrupted him in his train of thought. Worry not, master. I will clothe you, your human body, perfectly. As soon as he finished his sentence, Girahim disappeared into the halls. King Dragmire looked at the mirror once more, muttering to himself, I can only hope that this has a happy ending. I don't know, I just don't know if I feel like making the investment. By the way, look at the pickles. They've got mustaches and winter hats. Oh, and Lake Hylia is frozen. It's made of ice. I 
I don't. They didn't give me powder this run. And I forget which day gave powder. Because I know one of them actually had powder in it. Or I think one of them did. It's coming together. Four days left. IPRX. Day 18. You're giving me a bow? Oh, that's nice. And they've removed the menorah. Hanukkah's over. Oh god. did this just to see what would happen, but I didn't think it was going to be... <laughs> well, they guarded against a hammer yump into that chest. Interesting. No, they kind of have to do it because Dorando's weird. Yeah, it is. Uh, if you do something like that in Dorando, it can break the game. Because that kind of stuff is in separate dungeons. This just kills me. So we'll just turn it to me so you don't have to listen to this crap. So instead, if you missed it earlier in the weekend, we got this pillow. Okay, we'll come back to the pillow again later. Thank <laughs> you. 
scruff. I wouldn't show that off to you. She's special. Okay, that's not where I wanted to be. Seriously, this room is just looping in on itself all over. You're right. We do know that, Scruff. Day 18, Zelda was studying when she heard a knock. Come in, she responded purely out of habit. Another knock called her attention. Zelda turned her gaze towards the balcony where she spotted Medley waving joyfully. The two sat together at the fireplace. Z Zelda handed Medley a cup of tea. Have you decided? There it was again, the straightforward Rito way. She reached beside her to hand over the list of pieces. Zelda hoped the selection wasn't too fancy. The Rito pr produced some of the best musicians, but perhaps she was asking too much. After what felt like an eternity, Medley looked up from the list with a blank look on her face. If the list is too long, I can shorten it. I... Zelda, Medley interrupted. My musicians are the best in the whole kingdom. We love challenges, and I think we will master them. Medley's approval took all the weight off Zelda's shoulders. Thank you, Zelda replied. hit the switch instinctively not even thinking you know that might not be necessary to the front portion because I think it's possible that the front is actually where my progression is at this point. But I got the big key out of there so that's good. A tempered sword. Oh, thank you. Thank you. 
another day down. Or just about. give me a, a sword though like made the fight pretty easy but it was kind of extraneous That's another day down. And since that went all kooky, back to just me. So yeah, back to the pillow. So yeah, um, to anybody who missed it, what happened was, was that, um, Last couple of weeks, um, Jess or Tiger Lady was running her. Um, uh oh, what's up? Um, and since she was running Extra Life, one of her incentives was a really cool um, giveaway for um, not this, but this was a bonus in that. So on another slowdown, we'll go over to the other stuff. <laughs> Day 19. <laughs> GWFB. Misery Mire 2. And we start with Tempered Sword. And we get a bow. <laughs> Apparently I needed Bombos to get in, but you're not making me use Bombos to get in. shot. I've never tried to bomb that wall. Didn't follow what at all. Okay, then we'll go over it again. Later. <laughs> Killing me, Scruff. Thank you. 
A hammer? A hammer? That's why they wanted you to have a bow. I was like, why are you giving me a bow for this? And this is so nice. <laughs> it just moves fast. And this is why you needed the hammer. I must have missed the hint tile because it's just something I don't look for. Like, ever since we've been playing, like, our group has been playing rando, hint tiles really haven't been a thing. You know what? We'll still go that way. I don't even know if I need to hit that. I do need to hit it. <laughs> Thanks, game. That's unfortunate. Sure, that gives me a key. That gives me a key.
I mean, we've got three small keys now, which is good, I guess. this way though. There's a hint tile. Is it the hint tile? It is! Day 19, Zelda cleared Medley's dishes and her own. On the way to the kitchen, she wondered if she really wasn't freezing. The thought struck her as lightning. Gonzo, Mako, Nico, Nudge, Senza, and Zuko. They were the ones guaranteed to be cold. But as real pirates, they would not so willingly accept the help of a princess. She had to find a way to rephrase the request to their liking. Brooding, she carried the dishes into the kitchen. The wafting aroma filled Zelda with nostalgia. It was their father's spicy meat and seafood fry. Without hesitation, she fished, fished herself a piece and ate it gleefully. Would you make me another large pan of that? After the huge food package was tied, Zelda added the card and sent the seagulls on their journey. And the text of the card read, Pirates, I require your help. No followers of mine are able to consume this meat made of creatures most terrible. Alas, we cannot let it perish lest we incur the goddess's wrath. Oi. I need a crystal switch. Help! Help!
So how is everybody on this Monday? Having a good start to your weeks, hopefully. Tired. Paul, what's going on, dude? What happens? You okay? I haven't heard from you, so... I had no idea. So this isn't like some emergency thing out of nowhere is what you're saying, right? I mean, I know there's been some shit, so, but this isn't, is this like a brand new thing or is this just more continuation of like the previous shit? Sorry to hear that, though. Thank you. 
Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be something too invasive. It still sounds like it's, you know, it's 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 shitty to have to, you know, go through that portion as well. miss oh I know what one I missed I know where I have to go why I did it. I don't know. I know Vitrice is coming up, so I'm kind of just like, I should have full health before heading to Viddy. Yeah, Viddy's in this room. That's what it is. Right here. No. <laughs> Is Far Cry Four stressful? I I, I don't know. What's in the front entrance to Desert Palace? Oh. 
Same thing as pretty much every other entrance in the game. Yeah, we're off the, uh, in terms of stressful game, um, we're past Gems War, uh, Gems, uh, Guild Wars week, so that, we're back to the easy mode there. I'd say the stress of a game is gonna be the race if I have to do it tomorrow. Okay, 19 days done. Day 20. U-Y-B-E. Skull Woods 2. Trust that door. Day twenty. Link saw Pura and Robbie outside the stables. He immediately looked around for the fire damage. Link! Pura greeted him joyfully. As promised, here is the solution to your problem. We present the revised and improved SFHS2. Link looked at the vehicle with uncertainty. The handle read SFHS, super fast horse sled. Puzzled, he looked at the two of them, both anxious to explain their invention. Unfortunately, it was all too technical to be understood. Later, Scruff. Perfect. Malin joined them, clearly interested. This is exactly what I need to decorate the castle. Link regressed back into his thoughts. The vehicle looked resilient, but he didn't want to be stranded alone in the wilderness. He quietly got Epona ready, ready and departed. Robbie and Pura weren't too concerned with who tested the equipment, and Malin seemed to have a legitimate need. Link exhaled in relief. Of course, he enjoyed new things, but a long adventure awaited him today. Okay, let's try this one. Hey, it's a fire rod.
We're just gonna be a little bit more careful. Um, this dungeon is technically Dark World right now. And even though the enemies look like they're the light world, like snakes and rats, they're actually really not. Interesting. Did we already find the boss? We did. We are not fighting a boss during slow down freakout mode. Especially one as complicated as the moth. Let's be honest, if it wasn't moth, I probably would. And not care. Powder would have been nice. It's a double boss dungeon. It's not. Don't worry. But that's a problem. We don't have the big key. So, Ima, since your console, I guess, came today, does that mean you get to start playing it? Or do you have to wait to open it? Like, what's the, uh, the agreement here? By the way, if anybody's here, um, specifically from, like, the Xbox side of my friend group, and has a game that they would want to suggest for me to work on for the, the 12 days, I'll take the suggestion. 
I have an idea of what I'm gonna do, I just haven't done it because I'm a slacker. So if you know a game that has a missable and you want me to go for it, after we finish these last few days of 12 days, I am up for the suggestion. Day seven. My original thought, Paul, was I was going to do Astrologaster. The other possibility is or a bunch of missables. Oh, right, I don't have flippers. Too far. Mirror bonk. Really? Okay. Because I would think, like, if you don't get the achievement, you'd have to start over. Weird. Well, that's fine. The original plan was I was only going to do up to day 20 yesterday. And even though we do have day 21 available, I will save days 21 through 25 to do at the end. So we won't do day 21, even though we have the code for today. Okay. We did seven days. And I think that is a good place to swap games, especially if we're going to keep on getting slowdowns. So let's swap screens.
back to the Xbox. Paul, you're ahead of me. 390 gamer score ahead of me right now. How dare you? Let's see what people are doing. Dan's playing Brunswick Pro Billiards. And Paul's playing Far Cry 4. And Olkesh is playing Watch Dogs Legion. I'm spying on you all. Reese is playing Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. And I was apparently playing nothing. I hasn't been on his Xbox in four days. I'm a what are you doing? I don't even know if you're still here. I think there's one um, Zatillion game I haven't finished yet. <laughs> I'll be right back.
I just realized I had my microphone off. <laughs> I'm a genius. Okay, so as I was saying, I'm going to call it here for tonight. Um, we've been going for about two hours. I know I'm cutting it a little short, but I figure um, I got some other stuff I can get done today. Um, so I want to get to that and then, you know, maybe play some things tonight. So, but we're going to cut it a little short today. Um, now for tomorrow morning, I'm not streaming, but if you want to watch a race, um, Jaws is doing, uh, his game. F he's doing game four tomorrow at 10 10 eastern time <laughs> i'm always pro don't you know it uh yeah 10 10 tomorrow morning eastern standard time so that is uh 3 10 for you uk folks 4 10 uh old cash and i don't know whoever else is here for other times uh 9 10 central uh, 7 a.m west coast i don't know where you people are coming from but if you're around and want to watch a race, Jawsome Sauce has our game four of our series tomorrow then on the ALTTPR League. Um, so definitely check out his race. Um, if he wins, we move on to the conference semifinals. Uh, the big deal there is if we make the conference finals, we actually finish top two top four in open league and finishing top four in the league guarantees us a spot in the invitational league next season where we will proceed to get our asses handed to us week in week out so if you want to see me lose a lot next season hope for us to win <laughs> um, if not you know it's not a big deal um, i'll be racing possibly game five on wednesday uh, at three o'clock eastern time so um Obviously, that'll be on that 10-minute delay, so I, um, yeah, you won't be able to see me racing, unfortunately, in real time, and it'll be emote only on Wednesday, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, Jaws wins tomorrow, and I don't have to clutch out the series on Wednesday. Uh, if not, though, we will be prepared for that possibility, so um, definitely uh, try to tune into that race tomorrow. I'll definitely be watching. Um, I've considered doing comms, but I might skip on it because I'd rather just watch and stress out that way than calm and stress because calming my own teammates is stressful. <laughs> it is really hard to do calm for your teammate. <laughs> and, re <coughs> and, and relax at the same time. Sorry. So, um, everybody have a good rest of your Monday, though. Um, Hopefully I see you this week. Um, if I don't see you all before um, Christmas, have a great Christmas. Or, you know, if you're not celebrating, you know, have a nice uh, holiday this week or holiday if you're off from work, hopefully. Um, and if, you know, I know it's not an ideal uh, holiday season this year and I know it sucks. But, you know, know that I will be streaming this weekend. And if people just want to hang out, stop by. Um, you know, if we want to play some games together, I know there's a lot of multiplayer stuff that people enjoy. Um, so if that means we do some overcook this weekend or over next week or, um, Minecraft dungeons or quest hunter or any other number of games, uh, reach out, you know, let's hang out. Let's, you know, I definitely have said over the last weekend, I felt like, you know, being able to do these Twitch streams and, hang out here or hang out with my link to the past friends for the last few weeks has really helped or the last months really honestly um, has helped kind of deal with the fact that, you know, we're all kind of a little uh, separated and um, you know, isolated a bit. So, you know, if you're looking for just some time to hang out with other people, let me know um, and we can play something. Um, I do want to go over this one more time. So let me bring this back up to make sure it's up on the stream. Okay. So what had happened was extra life. You can do, you know, you ask for donations and people are really cool to donate stuff. 
Um, well, Jess, or Tiger Lady, she did a donation incentive. Incentives are kind of like prizes you can get for donating certain amounts of money. Um, she had a couple that I donated to the first time I noticed them. Uh, there was a Cuphead pin and a uh, the Serious Sam collection code for Xbox One. And I was like, oh, those are two things I'd really like. So I donated for them. Well, Jess has really spread out our streams, and I noticed a week or two ago, uh, one of the items on her incentive list was something I really wanted, but never was going to be able to probably get to because obviously travel is currently impossible pretty much. And in general, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get to one of these, but uh, one of these E3 like ID events. And so instead, um, what she had up for bid or incentive was the one of the ID skate decks. Um, so um, $200, and I was well, felt, felt it was well worth it at the time, and really like it, so I was really happy to get this. Um, but that is also where um, her thing was that for every $10 you donated, she did a giveaway in chat, and for every $15 you donated, you would get a game code. So um, that was 13 game codes that um, some of you benefited from so i hope you know everybody got something they enjoy um you know the people who heard from me you know you're important to at least me and streaming and you know just being there so um you know not that people who did not get a message are not but you know um when it comes to xbox stuff you are the people who i talk to um and hang out with the most and kind of wanted to show some appreciation and you know just say Merry Christmas, happy holidays kind of thing with that. Um, so hopefully you all got something you will enjoy. Um, you know, so enjoy those games for sure. Um, but besides the skate deck that Jess sent, she also sent uh, the ID at Xbox pillow. And so really cool little bundle of stuff. Uh, there was also some socks and a patch. So, you know, really nice uh, collection of items in the box and I was really appreciative of it you know I was just you know jazzed to get the skate deck but getting the uh, the pillow and the codes was really nice as well especially you know being able to kind of return some some generosity out in the world um, so hopefully you know I'll be around at streams this week hopefully being able to watch everybody else I know Reese and Joe are tomorrow so definitely check them out um, I think Reese and Joe are also stream on Thursday. I'm going to try to stream Wednesday, no matter what race or not, I'm going to try to do a stream. Um, and then maybe I'll do something Thursday morning. I know ladder season starting up on the, uh, tomorrow and we haven't really done ladder in a while. So maybe we'll start getting back into ladder or we'll get into some other Xbox stuff and try to start knocking out a bit, a few more of the requests that we got lingering. Um, and then uh, Friday is Christmas, but we're just hanging out at the house. So I'll be home and maybe I'll figure something out to do instead. Um, and then of course, normal weekend streams. Um, and maybe some of you friends will see some uh, return of uh, Reese's mom. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Um, but until then, till whatever the next stream is, have a good rest of your nights, days, whatever. And I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>